up today, guys? It's Mystic Dreamcatcher, and today we have What If Total Drama was split into four teams instead of two. Now, going forward, just keep in mind, it's only my opinion. If you guys like this, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So, obviously, two of these teams obviously have one more person. But I'm going to say that's fine, and that's just how it rolls. Go ahead and comment down below two people you may believe win, along with your favorite team. Alright, so obviously the first challenge is jump off a cliff and build a hot tub. Getting judged by Chris, where the top three do not have to go to the campfire ceremony. Everyone on this team jumped. Beth didn't jump for the youthful turtles. Courtney didn't jump for the killer bass. And DJ did not jump for the screaming gophers. Hazardous pigeons wins the advantage of, you know, like the wheelbarrow. And I do believe their hot tub would be a lot better due to that advantage. Killer Bass, I'm going to say, also builds a pretty good jacuzzi and screaming gophers, which unfortunately means youthful turtles sending someone home. And unfortunately, I do believe it would probably be my boy Zeke saying some shit like, how the hell did Hazardous Pigeon get first? They have all women. And obviously, Beth, Lindsay, and Heather does not take kind to that. And Heather probably gets in Cody's and Owen's ear. A.K.A. Zeke, your first out. Alright, the big sleep. I'm gonna say whichever team has all of their contestants asleep first will lose the challenge and have to send someone home. Obviously, Killer Bass is good. We don't have to worry about them. Eva did extremely well in the sleeping challenge. Along with Duncan. From what I can remember, everyone on this team kind of did mid or bad. So I'm going to say Youthful Turtles, go ahead and lose once more. She didn't stay up too long, along with the fact she didn't jump. Unfortunately, goodbye, Beth. Now, y'all could say like Heather and Lindsay does their thing with Beth, but I think they'd rather pull in Cody than Beth if they had that choice. Killer Bass is sending Tyler to the Youthful Turtles. All right, now we got Dodge Brawl. Whichever team has the most losses out of all the mixed match matches have to send someone home during campfire ceremony. Duncan's team obviously doing hella well. They got two goats on that team working very well together that episode. Owen and Cody were pretty good at dodgeball. I'm assuming Heather was pretty all right too. I know Lindsay and Tyler are a huge anchor, but I'm not gonna say that drags them down to the point of losing. Sadie did terrible. Noah would have done terrible slash didn't compete. Katie did kind of bad. Uh, all right, so I'm going to say Hazardous Pigeons loses, and it's kind of because of Sadie and Katie, in which plot armor, Katie loses, and I know Sadie did worse in the dodgeball challenge, but apparently, as you know, in total drama lore, that doesn't matter. Katie's gone, probably for the best. All right, in this next challenge, each team will have to send three people to do a talent show contest judged by Chef Hatchet. Hazardous Pigeons are gonna choose everyone but Sadie, because she's sad as fuck right now. Killer Bass sits out, Noah and Gwen. Youthful Turtles sit out, Lindsay and Cody. Screaming Gophers sit out, Duncan and Harold, who replaces Jeff after his skateboard breaks. I don't know what Izzy and Eva does along with Bridget, but I feel like those three could do it really well and Bridget don't do what she did last time. Actually doing good for the team. Good job. Y'all make it through, I say. Harold obviously having his character development along with Justin's little hot thing he does. I'm gonna say Screaming Gophers is pretty spot on to win as well. Owen actually gets the chance to do his ABC things, which gets hella points. Heather gets those midpoints. Tyler gets probably midpoints as well, maybe a little bit below mid. But I think that's going to be better than what Courtney and Lashana gets. Plus, you know, the little bit Trent carries, but not enough. Killer Bass losing. And unfortunately, I believe this is probably where Noah would go. Lasting one more episode than actually in the original. R.I.P. All right, now for the sucky outdoors, every team have to go out into the forest. And the last one to come back with all their members has to send someone home. And as you remember, Sadie and Katie fucked this up for their team. But Katie's not here to distract Sadie. And between the four of these, I think Eva and Izzy has a super good job at making them sure they win, along with Bridget not being half bad herself. So I'm gonna say they're good. I'm gonna say that due to the team 
and the contestants that form it, Youthful Turtles probably loses. Because Cody isn't a big help. Tyler's not a big help. Lindsay's not a big help. Owen, you know, is 100% bullshitting. And Heather needs bad shit to happen to her so the audience have something to cheer on. Heather tells Lindsay and Tyler that they're voting Owen, in which they do. But she tells Owen that they're going to vote for him and kind of shows him proof of it somehow. And she also gets Cody, who she has been working with, in which all three of them instead vote out Tyler, blindsiding Lindsay, who is no longer a part of Heather. At least not right now. Maybe Heather can, like, patch it up. Now we have Phobia Factor, in which each of the contestants has to face their worst fear. Eva's fear is, I'm gonna say something kind of a little bit goofy like Centipede. Like, she can fight Sasquatch, she can do whatever, but Centipedes, that's where she draws the line. Justin's would obviously be something like becoming ugly or like getting a mark on his face, something like that. Lindsay passes, Owen passes, I'm pretty sure Heather passes, Cody fails. Screaming Gophers has to sit one person out, and they agree it's Harold because they lack confidence in him. Courtney fails. Lashana failed her fear, so that's two people failed for that team, which means Youthful is alright right now. I would say Eva passes, Bridget fails, but Izzy passes along with Sadie, which means this team is also safe. Now, as you know, Justin fails, Duncan passes, DJ passes, but Jeff fails. So what Chris does now is he makes Justin, Jeff, Courtney, and Lashana trade fears the first one to bail loses for their team justin feel he wouldn't in fear of his face getting bitten or something like that for plot relevancy his team loses and he's the next person voted off harold was barely saved all right everyone is now moving on up and there is going to be a team swap they are going to stay in four teams all right, let me give you a moment to look at the new teams. This is how I decided to shuffle them, and I believe this would make great new content, along with character development and socialism. All right, and to break in the new teams and friendships, the next challenge is a nice one. They have to row a canoe all the way to Boney Island, go across the island, start a bonfire and get approved from Chris, race back, and the last team to do so will have to send someone home. By the way, since Beth is not here to get the cursed idol thing, I am going to say instead that falls into Bridget's lap. This episode doesn't really matter since no matter what, Izzy gets eliminated due to the RCMP or whatever it is. Goodbye. Paintball Deer Hunt. And I believe that the team that would do the worst is Hazardous Pigeons, I can't even lie to you. In which Lindsay tattles to Sadie and probably Gwen that Cody works with Heather and he's goodbye. Plus Cody probably getting on Gwen's damn nerves. Because he, he was a little weird in season one, I can't even lie. Alright, now this next one is one of my favorite challenges actually. It's basically Hell's Kitchen. Each team will be appointed one head chef. Then each team will have to make a dish that will be judged by Chris. The team that makes the dutiest food will have to send someone home. I'm going to go ahead and say that Bridget's idol works here. And I know that's weird considering DJ's on this team and he got the mama spice. But I'm going to say that Bridget's idol does some part in like Owen sneaks into their kitchen and eats all their food or some shit. Or a bear eats all their food and leaves like the idol in place. And everyone is like, what is that? And then Bridget says she got from the island. And then DJ and Jeff kind of have to vote her out. And I know that Jeff would potentially betray DJ for Bridget. But he's obviously being pressured by the guys. It's still kind of early. She is the sole reason they lost potentially, you know, in their beliefs. And DJ's super nice. And he would probably like beg Jeff or something beforehand. All right, and now the next one is who can you trust, aka the one where you have to do like three different challenges. I'm going to say the Turtles hella got this, doing great. Screaming Gopher somehow managed to lose due to Owen goofiness. And maybe Heather sabotaging a little bit because she's seeing Trent and Gwen go a far way and she wants that to stop. Especially since she was hella envious of Gwen this season for some reason. 
So she just goes ahead and pulls that kiss thing now. Goodbye. She fooled Lashana and Owen Rip. All right, now the next one is basic straining. You got to get through Chef's boot camp. And this is the episode where Courtney is voted off because of Harold. But I'm going to say with Duncan and Eva here, especially Eva, they actually do great for their team. Youthful Turtles also pass. Unfortunately, Hazardous Pigeons do lose, I believe, in my opinion. Heather probably hella caring. Uh, yeah, goodbye, Sadie. You did great. R.I.P. All right, now they got to do skydiving, riding a moose, and going through mud on jet skis to capture flags. I'm going to do a team swap here real quick. Eva going to Hazardous Pigeons. Youthful Turtles passing. Screaming Gophers passing. And Hella Eva carrying Pigeons pass in which Harold does that vote thing, confusing Duncan so fucking much. Getting Courtney out, Harold chad move all right everyone is now going to go to the merge in which two people are going to be brought back and those two are izzy obviously along with tyler i say those two would be very dope to see come back especially tyler since y'all know he lost in phobia factor even though he technically did his phobia all right, so Eva does not have anyone to hold a grudge against, and there's no reason to. I believe at this point, maybe she even learned how to control her anger. Maybe her and DJ, like, DJ even goes to her to teach her how to calm and peace out and everything. Some character development between them. This round, they have to get through several rounds of torture. If they drop out, they lose. Not only do the winner get immunity, but they also get a luxury trailer. Lashana keeping her dub right here. I'ma say that Heather probably spreads like a very false rumor or does something Heatherly and plot armorly to get Gwen a target and voted out this episode. Now I know that might divert a lot from what actually happened, but I am gonna say that is what happens. All right, so now you have to receive a clue to find a chest somewhere that'll give you immunity. Obviously Heather gets this. Now, as you know, during this period of time, all the contestants believe that the winner would be decided by jury. I'm going to say that Heather uses that and her power to make that target early on Jeff. And which does happen, plus he's probably still bitching about Bridget. Alright, final 10. Congratulations. Moving on up. Alright, hide and be sneaky. Lashana winning this challenge. And as you know, the guys alliance form consisting of duncan dj owen and tyler i'm gonna say that duncan even reaches a handout to harold and if not duncan like dj or owen or someone compacting this five in which all of them say to vote Lindsay because she's the most likable one out of the girls left and tyler does not want to do that so he doesn't heather finds this out that tyler won't vote Lindsay, so she tells the guys in which they flip their votes to tyler along with heather which is all they need goodbye all right so as you know in this next challenge Lindsay kind of gets hella fucking duped and i'm gonna say that is still the case unfortunately getting duped by heather right after tyler r.i.p the final eight now here hook line and screamer you can't help it but dj is out that is the sad forever truth you could say maybe Harold, but I feel like Harold would do better than DJ right now. All right, Izzy still going nutty with that gun and shooting almost everything she can see. But I'm going to also say, you know, for funny whatevers, I'm going to say that Eva has like a super rage fit at Chris and like goes to kill him. But Izzy darts her, stopping her just in time, saving the day and Eva gets out. The remaining contestants pair up in two in which... One pair will be granted immunity. The pairs are Izzy and Lashana, Duncan and Harold, and Owen and Heather. The winners being Heather and Owen. The person voted off is unfortunately now Izzy. The final five now moving on up. And you kind of already know what happens at the final five. Instead of Lashana's name being said over and over again, I'm going to say that instead. Courtney says something first, like, I wish Harold was here, he duped me. In which Sadie says, I kinda like Harold. And Beth says, didn't Harold rig it? 
and they just keep saying Harold's name until eventually, uh-oh, fifth place. Chef eliminates Duncan in this no matter what. This final three looking a little familiar. In which Heather is obviously voted off third with Owen and Lashana sharing their freebies. And I believe that if Lashana made it to the finale with Owen, Owen would no longer be the canon winner after everything Lashana did. But just keep in mind, it's only my opinion. If you guys like this, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any ideas, comment them down below. Have a good day. Bye.